How to make your boyfriend love you more than ever. Hey ladies, my name is Danny and I'm your life and relationship coach. And obviously based on the title that I just talked about, we are talking about getting your boyfriend to love you more than ever. Getting him just wanting nobody else and just wanting you only having eyes for you and, and really just kind of getting him to, to commit in a way, right? So what are some of the things that you can do? What can you start to apply today to make that happen? I know it can be frustrating for some people. Um, commitment is something that is, is difficult to navigate and it's something that not everybody is comfortable with. And especially if you are an individual who's newer to dating and maybe you just haven't had the experience yet, wanting to know how to how to lock this guy in, wanting to get him to fall deeper and deeper in love with you can be a daunting experience. It can feel like an impossible task, but there are a few things that you can do. There are a few tips that you can follow in order to make that happen. Now, these are gonna be a little bit general, right? Um, every person is different. Every individual is different. Everybody has different emotions, how they navigate those emotions, what it is makes, what makes them tick, um, but, you can apply these, these general things and start to see um, results, start to see improvements. So the first one, and again, this is something that I talk about all the time, is maintaining a sense of self-identity, um, being true to yourself, remaining your authentic self. And oftentimes what ends up happening is that when we jump into a relationship, women in particular, they want to invest a lot of their times into their partner, into their boyfriend. And you kind of start to lose a bit of yourself because you are always wanting to be there for your boyfriend. You're always wanting to be available. You're always wanting to spend time with him. And that's fine. And that's natural. And I get it because it's new. It's exciting. It's the butterflies. It's the infatuation phase. And maybe the dynamic is the same between the two of you guys, right? Maybe he wants to spend a ton of time with you as well but it is so important to create healthy boundaries in the beginning and not allow yourself to be too available. Because if you start to do that, then again, this kind of contributes to the chase being over. You know, there, there isn't those, that excitement and that, and that need to, to fulfill a goal. Like I said, you know, men are very goal oriented. So if they have decided to, to get you, to win you, to make you their girlfriend and they've achieved that goal and then you make it super easy for them once they have, they're just gonna kick back, right? They're just gonna relax and you're going to feel the shift in that energy. So keeping a sense of self-identity and doing things that make you happy, investing in yourself, um, achieving the goals that you originally had before you even came into the relationship is incredibly important. Um, it keeps you on the pedestal. It keeps you as a priority. Now, I'm not saying don't prioritize the relationship or don't accommodate your boyfriend every once in a while or don't, don't compromise. Compromising is a key factor of a relationship, right? But if you want him to fall in love with you, then you have to preserve a sense of yourself, the original person that he met, because that is the person who he was originally attracted to and that is the person that made him want to chase you in the first place. The second thing is mindset right? Understanding and feeling like you are worthy of his love. You know, you deserve to be chased. You deserve to be on that pedestal. You deserve for him to love you. And so many times in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and in my email sessions, I find that women have a lack of self-confidence when it comes to this. They feel like they don't deserve their partners or they aren't worthy of love um, or that they have to work super hard to get their boyfriend to fall in love with them or to, to even notice that they exist. And that's not a healthy mindset, right? Um, it's a negative mindset. It's a defeatist mindset. It's a victim's mindset. And that's not going to get you anywhere. That's not going to help you to progress in the relationship. And that for sure is not gonna get him to fall in love with you. Being confident, having a sense of self-worth, having a solid self-esteem, understanding that you are important, right? That you don't necessarily need this guy. You don't need this man. You can do life without him. You can continue to do the things that make you happy. You can continue to, to succeed and to, and to flourish without this individual. But the second that you change your mindset and you feel like you can't live without this person, that you can't do things without this person, that your worth is, is reliant on his validation of you, you'll lose the game. And you don't 
get the love that you are looking for because what ends up happening is that you fall into codependency. And when you fall into codependency, it is very difficult to make a man love you because there is suffocating behavior that goes on that actually pushes him further and further and further away. So number two, keep in your mind, right? Shift your mindset and understand that you are worthy of love. You deserve his love and you're going to get his love. The third one is shift the power play, right? So relationships are about dynamic and about shifting the power play every once in a while. So in the infatuation phase, what you can do is, and this is just a little tip, you know, pro tip for you, allow yourself to be available in the beginning, right? So you guys are getting to know each other. You guys are having a good time. He's wanting to hang out with you and you're wanting to hang out with him. And you're allowing these activities to happen frequently and consistently, right? But somewhere along the way, still in the infatuation phase, so anywhere from the beginning of you guys starting to date to about six weeks, start to pull away a little bit. Start to, start to not be as available. Fill your schedule with things. You know, if you were gonna go hang out with your girlfriends on Friday and he texts you and says, hey, are you available on Friday? The answer is no. I already have plans. But reschedule with him for another time. Because this is going to be a shift in power. This is gonna be a shift in the dynamic and he's gonna wonder, okay, wait, why, what's going on? Why is she not wanting to hang out with me as much as she wanted to before? Now, obviously this is, this is, there's a balance here. You don't wanna be cold. You don't wanna be, you know, very just stark with the change. You obviously wanna show that you're still involved in the relationship. You still care about him. You still want to, to progressively move along, but it's just about pulling away a little bit and getting him to consciously think about, oh no, I may be losing the chase, I need to chase even more. And by doing that, you actually start to get him to become more attracted to you and want to attach to you even more, which helps in building that chemistry and getting him to fall even deeper in love with you. The fourth one, and this is the one that I talk about all the time as well, is keep it drama free, right? Um, be casual, be fun, be cool. I know that arguments are inevitable. I know that there will be periods of time in which you guys will fight and that's okay. You know, it really just depends on the severity of the fight and the consistency of the fights. But for the most part, just keep it drama free, keep it casual, keep it, keep it fun, light and airy because that is something that men love. They don't handle drama very well. They don't handle conflict super well. Um, and plus, in the beginning stages of the relationship, it should be fun, it should be casual, it should be just enjoying each other's time. So if you're already nagging at him and you're already picking certain things that you don't like about him and you're wanting to change certain parts of his personality, he's going to recognize very quickly that this is potentially a relationship that he does not want to be in. So by pulling away a little bit and by giving him his freedom and his independence and just having fun with the situation, it's something that he will admire. It's something that he will find attractive and it's something that will keep him coming back for more and more and more. If you are having troubles, right? If you're, if you're not fully understanding how to re-attract a man, if you don't really get how to keep him, how to, how to get him to love you, I have created an incredible product that you can utilize and it is a product on attraction right? Getting a man to stay attracted to you, getting him to fall in love with you, getting him to commit to you. You can find this product on the Happily Committed website under the products tab. And I guarantee you, ladies, it will change your life. It will help you to understand better how to keep a man and how to get him to continue to chase you over and over and over again. And my assumption is if you're watching this video, it's because you need a little bit of help in that department. So head on over and make sure that you check out that product. And I promise you, like I said, it will shift the dynamics and it will put you in a position of power where you feel like you are in control. If you related to this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. I love having open dialogue with people. So again, leave your comments in the comment box down below. Anything that you, you thought I may have missed, any questions that you may have, maybe you relate to this because you've been in this situation before or you're currently in this situation. I love to read the comments. Maybe you just want to dive in a little bit deeper. You want more details. You can visit us at happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and blogs and videos related to this subject and many other subjects as well. Um, maybe you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. You feel like your situation is a particular one, right? There's, it's, it's different than what I mentioned in this video. I would be more than happy to support you through that process. Or you can also book with any of the other amazing coaches that we have on the team. And you can do that again directly through the website. 
I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy. And again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach, and I'll see you soon.